I started swimming when I was six years old and you know I think only when I was around about 14 did I actually have a goal to get to the Olympic Games so um, you know made my first international tour when I was 14 the Commonwealth Games in Kuala Lumpur and I was 16 when I just missed out on the Olympic Games um, and this is an able-bodied athlete um, in the individual medley in the butterfly events and then in 2001 I had a motorbike accident. As a teenager, swimmer Nathalie Dutoit was considered as one of South Africa's most talented sporting prospects. Then, her leg was amputated below her left knee, but she refused to let this stop her professional career. There was no question that I wasn't going to get back in the water and, and swim. Um, that was what I did most of my, you know, every single day, most of my life. That's what my life revolved around. And so yes, you know, an accident is a moment in time and you look back and you, I have half a leg less than what I had and ultimately it is waking up every day, putting on a prosthesis and saying, right, I'm going to start my day. Um, so you face it every day and I think it's a choice every day as to what your choice would be. And that's how the South African met history, by qualifying for the 2002 Commonwealth Games in Manchester, England the following year. She competed in both disabled and able-bodied events. 2002 was a whirlwind. Um, it was, I had been disabled in 2001 and I got back into the water probably about six months uh, after my amputation. You know, the Commonwealth Games was the next big event for South Africa and I qualified for two disability events that would be there. And then I had the ability to take part in the 800 meter freestyle, which was an able-bodied event. And in disability races, they're all sprinting events and I'm definitely not a sprinter. You know, my coach said to me, Natalie, you can make the final. It's, you've, you've got this. And I made the final of the 800. And I think that was also a stepping stone as to, you know what, you can actually, um, if you want to, if you work a little harder, you know, try and go a little further. And she went way further. Dutoit won several gold medals at the 2004 Athens Paralympic Games. She then qualified in 2008 for the Paralympic and Olympic Games in Beijing. She became the first athlete to carry the flag for her country at both Olympics and Paralympics in the same year. The Olympic trials came up in 2008 in Seville. And, you know, I think it was just the most perfect race that I've ever swum. It was you know, if you can imagine, there were 51, uh, I think there were more than 51, but athletes literally swimming in a pack, and it's four laps, so anything can happen within that. And it was just the most perfect race that I just swam, and, you know, we moved up from position to position, and we came in fourth. And, you know, from there it was, I had to be top 10 to qualify for the Olympic Games, and we made it, you know. So it was a dream come true, and, I think that was probably the, you know, the pinnacle of, of everything. A little girl with great dreams. Dutoit became an Olympian who realized them despite adversity and challenges. Well supported by her inner circle she calls the team, a family, coach, manager and friends. She successfully ended her career at the London Paralympics in 2012 with more medals. Whether from motivational speaking or sports project, her message to others is the same, to persevere in life. There's some injuries etc that don't allow the athlete to you know to carry on and in those circumstances it's right how can you use the lessons that you learn to you know to go into something different what is it about you and what do you like that makes you who you are and be able to move forward um, I don't think anything's ever a waste and yes it's tough you know going through challenges I always believe challenges happen but what do you want to do about it? What, what are you going to do about it? The sport has the power to change the world, and that's what our former president Nelson Mandela said. And, you know, as an athlete, I felt it. Um, and, you know, I don't always mean for it to be like that, but it, it happened.